and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Juiced Systems uh, Rapid Hub. So this one met the barest minimum of my requirements for a uh, USB hub. So I say that because in general I was really looking for um, two display ports. Well, uh, I should say video out. So it, it was, could be uh, HDMI and then I would need an adapter, display port, and then I'm good to go, or VGA and I'm good to go. Because my monitors are a little bit on the old side, but are in perfectly good condition otherwise. Which um, kind of leads to a point. It's like, don't replace stuff unless uh, you really need to. So it's not worth the price to just go and buy new monitors to fit future needs. So it's easier just to buy a product that I can adapt and keep going. But I needed something to get my future needs home office. So this one's pretty slick and compact. We have one HDMI port. And it's got 2.5 gig um, VGA. Not VGA. RJ45. And then uh, 10 gig and a 10 gig. It's got a little bit higher amperage, I guess. A 10 gig USB-C. And a uh, power delivery one. Or is that, is that one power in only? So this one is power delivery, 100 watt power delivery. So this one will not hold data, unfortunately. So you've got one, two, three. So I'm not sure if this will fully meet my needs, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's, again, at the barest minimum for my personal needs, but the 2.5 gig port is kind of what set it up and see if I, uh, if I like this, I will swap it with maybe my uh, USB not USB Thunderbolt uh, 4 slash USB 4 uh, dock hub and just have a bunch of other adapters going on because it's got the 2.5 gig on there. But it's, uh, it sounds like metal. Feels pretty cold to the touch, which is usually a sign that it's metal. Uh, build quality looks pretty good. The cable is not sleeved, or well, it's uh, just rubberized which uh, feels perfectly adequate, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, oh, testing. I'm going to have uh, one, two, three uh, external SSD-based hard drives um, and hooked up to it, and I'll go ahead and try out the 2.5 gig port on it uh, with my uh, NAS, which does have a 10 gig on it, so that won't be the limiting factor, so uh, let's give it a go. Welcome to my multi-port series where I'm going to be taking a look at a bunch of different uh, hubs. I found myself needing a different one for my home office environment for when I work from home. So I'm going to be taking a look at uh, basically this grouping to see which one best suits my need, if any of them. And I hope you stay tuned and enjoy. Speed test directly plugged in. And this SSD is the Sabrinth um, Rocket Nano 1 terabyte. And this is the result. Now let's check it with uh, some of the USB devices. All right, we're taking a look at the Juiced systems. I do have it fully loaded. Let me see my screen and screen. So this does only have one video out. And it, but it does have a 2.5 uh, gig port on it for LAN, and I have no reason to doubt that capability. We're now going to do a simple test of running all three of my SSDs at once. Boom, boom, boom. All righty. Hey, pretty sure I hit the start. All right. Let's see. Let's check task manager real quick. Check how things are looking. So there's 200 and 200 and 260. So realistically, the totality, so the total of the speeds should equal a uh, thousand megabytes per second. So 
if we have all three running at basically the same time. Oh, well, that's the winner. 325 plus 240, not quite, so that must be consuming a little bit. Hmm, there it is, three. So three, six, seven, eight. That adds up about right. So the speed does make a lot of sense there. Now, as for how warm this thing is running so far, so mine has only been about a minute. It's still nice and cool. So do note that uh, as this is going, one of the issues with this is, so having it fully loaded, right now everything running at full speed. So then if you had 2.5 gig going into it and you wanted to access the internet, you're not gonna be taking a little bit of speed away from your internet. Now, realistically, are you going to notice that? Not by much, but if um, you're transferring to a NAS or something like that, well, you, we shouldn't be transferring three SSDs to a NAS at once, but potentially you could see a speed drop a little bit going from um, a drive to a NAS through the 2.5 gig, but realistically, probably not because uh, mine's a hard drive based one and it basically tops out at 300 megabytes per second. So 300 and 300, that's 600. So that still gives a little bit of overhead there. So just for a little bit of explanation there. If you were to do some crazy test like this where you had an SSD transferring to your computer, another SSD transferring to the NAS using the, the LAN on this, you may, might start to see a speed drop in something because there's only so much throughput that is available there. But under normal circumstances, you probably won't. And if you're doing that kind of crazy stuff, you may want to end up buying Thunderbolt anyways. Sorry about that quick flash. Monitor disconnected as it turned off from probably idling too long. So what do I think? Well, it's running cooler than, uh, well, it's, not even warm to the touch. I take that back. It's slightly warm to the touch. But um, at the time of this particular one, I've only tested one other, and that was the Lionel 11 in one. And this is significantly cooler to the touch than that one. So either this one has a more efficient uh, little USB uh, splitter chip inside of it, or it's more efficient at spreading the heat through the device so that it doesn't really generate much hot spots. Uh, anyways, what do I think about it overall now that we've tested out? Well, it advertises itself as being able to handle 8K at 60 hertz. It's got the two USB 2s, or USB A's, not USB 2, USB A 10 gigs, 2.5 LAN, power delivery, and one USB C. So overall, it's not that much different functionality to my current one, which has HDMI, power delivery, and three USB ports with the SD card reader, with the SD card reader being the main advantage of the current one. So I probably would not choose this one. Well, this one does have 2.5 gig, so that would, that's another differentiator. But I probably wouldn't choose this for my home office setup because I do need at least one more USB port and I'd rather well, I want like two USB-Cs and three USB-As with two video outs. With 2.5 gig LAN, that would be something near on perfect. So I'm going to say no to this. But if this works for you, like its port selection and stuff, this certainly is looking like something that's uh, really quite good. But again, I haven't done longevity testing. My current one, you know, back there, this brand was called UpTab. Uh, I found it started having disconnect problems after long-term use using um, SSDs and hard drives with it. Uh, apparently something had overheated in it and just wasn't working, but it's doing just fine for sort of just fine. I just really would rather have one plug for my home office as I go and tune from the office. So that's just me. If I can find one that I like to simplify my overall setup. Anyways, thank you very much for watching Computer Tech and More. I hope you like this video. If you've got other topics that you'd like me to cover in the future, please leave them in the comments section down below. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.